everyone. I'm wearing my um, Ingram Sparks book, which is actually on my to-do list for winter when I'm exhausted. And I'm going to do my July wrap-up and my August goals. And I am a little bit behind because I forgot again. Um, I have not been doing as many writing videos for AuthorTube as I did the beginning of the quarantine when I started really doing that. But part of that is because I've been writing so much. So if you want to know what changed between then and now, you can watch two videos, which I'll try to remember to put in the comments, which are lies that, procrast uh, lies that perfectionism tells you and how to write faster for slower authors. And that is the exact advice that I've taken. Um, over here, you, it's just out of sight. I said, write as far as you can see, then think. That's been one of my mantras. Um, but in July, my goal was 20,000 words, and I wrote 28,000 words. So that's good. I had a conference, a virtual conference. It was supposed to be in Montana, but they, they transitioned over to virtual pretty early on. They decided it was going to be necessary, which is great because my friends, my international friends, couldn't even go gone. They could have gone but not come back. Um, and it was just, I probably wouldn't have gone otherwise. So that was a Strength for Writers class. Um, if you're not familiar with Strength Finders, I recommend my friend Becca Syme, who has a channel here on YouTube. She is a strength coach. In general, um, when I pick out classes, I tend to pick out classes from working authors. Right now, Becca is mostly coaching, but she has a master's in it. She's been coaching for 20 years. She really is the real deal. Um, uh, and I really like Strength Finders. It's been really applicable to my work. It's a kind of personality testing. And I can do a whole video on that if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, you can look up Clifton or Gallup Strength Finder. And you, there is a book you can buy to um, that you get a free code to take their test. And I recommend their test. It's, it's, really, it's really amazing. Anyway, so the big thing I did was that I got to... I ended the month at... Three, uh, 35,000 words. For me, my book, my goal is 60,000. So my goal is, is for that book. So my goal basically is 20,000 words will be a success, but I want to finish the book. So finishing the book will be 23,000 words. 23, 24, 24 point three thousand words um, will get me to finish but if I get 20,000 that's fine for those of you who don't know and I don't know why you would know I've really been struggling with writer's block with writer's slowness um, it's not uncommon for the winter to be my slower months but I just grinded to a halt and it'd been getting worse and worse and worse for several years now I've been writing slower and slower and slower and it was time to kind of break out of that and so those two videos I recommend talk a lot about my thought process um, I am on day 6 of August, and I have written 5,000 words, so I'm well on my way to meeting my goal. Um, I also have a class, um, Holly Mortimer, who's Canadian, mini mastermind class, and it's a business class. It's a business overhaul class, specifically for writers, but using traditional business models. It's not the kind of class I would normally seek out, but there's a couple of reasons I'm going to take it. First off, Zoe York, who has a channel here, who I will also remember, she is brilliant. Everyone thinks she's brilliant. She's amazing. She is passionate about helping other authors. She gives away a lot of information for free. Um, and another friend, Zara Keen, um, and a third friend, Lydia Rowan, all recommended this class. And these are my go-to friends. I've known these people for, I've been writing with them. I've spoken almost daily, definitely weekly, for five years. They are all more successful than me. Um, they don't have zero patience for uh, gurus, trickery, sketchy behavior, any of that. So first of all, they recommended the class. Reasonably, I don't need any other recommendation. They've always steered me, steered me well. So I'm taking it because of that. But the other reason is not just that, but it's also I see people who have books that are similar number of books, similar genres, me, similar reader feedback, uh, similar results to things like ranking. So if I run a promo, people downloading, all that, but who are making significantly more money. And so it's probably time for me to do a deep dive on my business and see areas that I'm neglecting. So one of the things that I've done really well over the years is that I have focused on areas of success. My newsletter, free first, 
first in series free promos is one of my favorite ways. But um, every once in a while, you need to step back, you need to look at the whole business, and you need to say, am I leaving money on the table? Is there something that um, I tried once, it didn't work for me at that time in my career, and might work for me now? Um, a really good example of that is I have a video, Michelle Fox's Facebook ad class, and I took it, and I said I would do a follow-up at some point after I had tested it. I've tested two ads so far. Both of them are showing um, results. Um, I'm seeing a growth in sales across those ads. I'm seeing rankings improve, which means that people are downloading the book. It's a little, I can see when people purchase it. I can't see when they borrow it through KU, unless you keep an eye on the ranking and you see when your ranking improves and you don't see a purchase. That means it's a borrow. So anyway, uh, that was an example of something I did Facebook ads early on in my career that did not work. I have not touched them in years, like literally three, three, maybe even four years. I now um, took this class, learned a lot more. I'm trying them again and they're working. So that's another example of like, that was an area of my business I just ignored. Another point, and this is, I'm kind of just rambling and that's okay, um, is that as you develop more books, you become a different kind of author. So first you're a debut author. No one's heard of you. The people that you're getting are really people who are who are passionate about being early adopters. They want to find the newest author the fastest. They want to read first in series, even if there's only one. Um, over time, your name becomes more familiar to people within your genre, even if they don't read you. So last year was a real new step up in my career, which is I was part of an anthology and they did sort of a like, hey, post here if you want to win one of Nikki's books for free. Um, just tell us if you've ever heard of her or if you've read her books before. And I got 50, 100 comments that said things like, oh, I, I've heard of her, but I've not read her books yet. And I was like, oh, that's a different step than, than I used to be where people were like, oh, I hadn't heard of her, but I'd be interested in learning. Now it's, um, now it's things like, um, uh, I, you know, I have heard of her, but I haven't tried her. And so hopefully the next step will be, oh, I hear people talking about how great she is all the time. I'm excited. And then, you know, of course I own all her books and I recommended her to everyone. So that is not uncommon that as you move through your career, you become kind of a different author. So my main goals for this month is to commit to this class. When I take classes, I'm someone who is there, you know, um, symbolically in the front row with my color coordinated pencils and my notebook and my you know I take I take physical notes in addition to copying over all the information into a file only for me because I respect trademark and people's work but I keep a copy for myself in Word so that I can um so that I can search for stuff but uh I don't share that um, but I also take physical notes. I make, go you know, post-it notes with goals and I, you know, you can't, you can kind of see a few, but they're kind of spread all over. They're mostly out of sight over there. Um, and so my main goals for this, um, I just realized I have a meeting in 15 minutes. My main goals for this month is 20,000 and that's kind of it and, and committing to my class. So hit me up below. Tell me how your July went. Tell me what you hope to accomplish for your August. Okay.